In this part, we're going to look at adding some doors and some windows. So the first thing we need to do is fix our doors and our windows. Um, um, you'll notice one thing that I have here is this floor too, and I'll be addressing that here in a minute. Anyway, um, you'll notice right here I, I'm missing this door part, and I really need to add that. So here's a way to do it. It's actually nice that we have this because it goes through some of the other skills we need. If I go ahead and use inference, I can click using the line tool. I can go to one edge, click on it, drag straight across, and it will actually draw that floor in me, for me as well. And I don't necessarily need the floor, but at least it helps me get the piece that I need here. Now I can go ahead and start to use inference if I can get that to snap there. There we go, it's snapping. Go straight up. Hopefully that should go straight across. Excellent. Now I can delete these two lines that I'm not really needing right now. You'll see that I have the piece that I need and I can um, extend that out. So now I've got the new wall. Now we could of course just draw the piece that we need here. I can use the rectangle tool. Kind of get that out the way I need. And then I can extend that out the same length as the other one by snapping it to the edge. Now, if, if your width isn't perfect, you can go back and adjust things as needed. Um, this one right here looks like it's pretty good, but that one looks like it's just a little bit wider than the other. So it doesn't have to be super, super accurate, but the more accurate you are, always the better. Where it's going to matter is where the two are across from each other, because we're going to need them to snap um, automatically to the other side. And if they're not the same width, then things are just not going to work well. Now, another thing about our door is that doors usually have a part that extends across the top, which is still part of the wall. And we're going to do that just by creating a line that goes across and then extending that out until it snaps to the other side. It snaps right to it. Now I can delete the lines that are around it that I don't need. And of course, we can do the same thing over here. Now there's a couple ways to do it on this side. One way to do it is to go ahead and create a line anywhere. Then I'm going to go select that line, go to the Move tool, and I'm going to make sure it's going up and down only by pressing the up or down arrow. And then I can snap to where it needs to be, the height that it needs to be, and it'll snap right to that end point. Now I can take it straight across. So that's snap to it. Then I can delete the parts that I don't need. That line, that line, and that line. Just clean it up a little bit. And you can see that we now have those doors fixed. Now, if the doors are the same width is not something that I've really figured out yet. And if we wanted to check that, um, just take a little bit more time for us to maybe measure something. We could actually try that. I've never really never really thought about measuring. That's the protractor. There's the measure tool. Let's see. Measure from there to there. I guess it says it was 2.9. See if I can get that. 2. 10. So it's a little bit wider on this side, and we might want to adjust that. It's not going to be um, it's not going to be super critical for it to be perfect, um, but it's something where when it's closer, it definitely is better. Anyway, the next thing that we have is our windows. We're going to have a large bay window here, a large bay window there, and then two small windows here. Now, in order to see this a little bit better, I might go to the X-ray face style, and you'll see there's where that bay window goes. We can kind of see it there. We'll have two windows here, and then you can clearly see the bay window that goes there. So it's nice to go to that x-ray face style so I can see it. So um, I'm going to start off with the small windows because they're definitely a little bit easier to create. So there's going to be my first window, and all I need is two windows that um, look exactly the same. So I'm going to double click on it, go to my move tool, do control C, click on the end, and drag it across and now I've created the other piece that I need. Now, you know, placing these two windows perfectly in the center of your object definitely is something that would be nice, but it, it doesn't really matter, I guess. You can fudge things just a little bit. Anyway, um, to extend this across, just 
snap to the other side hopefully and there you go we can extend that right across and cut that hole now we're going to do the large window and so I'm going to do my large window and I want to make sure it's the same height and the same um, not width but just the same height top and bottom as the other windows so I'm going to begin by drawing it and then I'm going to go to the move tool and then just extend out the edges that I need and a nice thing to do here is just click on it do the up or down arrow and then click on that edge just to make sure do the up or down arrow click on that edge now I know the height is the same now in order to copy this to the other side it's a little um, glitchy sometimes but I'm gonna copy this select everything so I've double clicked on it do control C go over to the other side here and do control V and hopefully it's going to paste and it seems like it did paste on that side so that's really good now we just need to move it up so it's exactly the same so I'll choose the bottom point press down the up or down arrow and then snap to that bottom point so all of those are the, exactly the same um, size now I can cut that through to the other side and we've got the holes for our windows now I expect you to be able to go through your um, house and add windows and doors um, for the entire house if possible you may want to add just two different styles of windows maybe you can add um, more of these smaller windows or more of the large bay windows but as long as you have a couple different sizes I think that'll be good and then we can go on to the next part which is about using um, creating our windows and also using components so let's go ahead and finish up the work there and then go on